Today, we're going to be introducing a myriad of awesomes, starting with the monster Shadowborn. Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. Now, right, I'm going to be straight up, up front. I totally was inspired by the fades from Wheel of Time for this. If you do not know what that is, shame on you. I don't know what that is. Shame on you. Well, fuck you. Minus 10 cool points to you. Educate me then. I would love to. Oh, fuck. So, uh, in order to build this character, this very um, shady character, get it? Because we were doing CD dives. God shady. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so to do this thing, you're going to start with the stat block of the fire elemental. What does that immediately tell you? Yeah, it burns. Well, that or it's incorporeal, right? Yeah. It's not as... It's not really physical, right? Um, so we have to do get rid of a few things. The the fire form is a big problem. And the illumination is a big problem. You want to get rid of that. And then, of course, we're going to change its touch attack. Um, we do want to give it stealth because it is, you know, shady and dark and, and all that jazz. We are going to increase its intelligence and wisdom up to 12 because we want it to be smart and intelligent. Uh, of course, any sort of undead is going to have radiant damage. But the things that make this thing stand out are its ability to summon a phantom steed. So it can summon its own mount? Yes. If it's a phantom steed and it's incorporeal, does that mean it could ride through walls too? It can now. It can now because that is awesome. <laughs> like it, it's trying to get through a village and a bunch of people are waiting for it. He's like, I'm just going to go through the houses. Well, <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, that kind of just blows me away. Um, so <laughs> it now can uh, uh, shift between the ethereal realm because that sounds way cooler than what I had. I gave it amorphous. Which basically means it can fit through small holes. Because uh, um, the cloud. Mm. Yeah, right? Um, and the, the, Im the artwork that goes with it has this really beautiful, like, Death Reaper type thing on a mount going on. But uh, we want to give it weakness to sunlight and, of course, vulnerability to radiant. Oh, so it's a third shifter. That's really good. <laughs> um, it's going to get undead fortitude, which means when it does go to zero, it has to make a con save. It might stop at one, making it potentially a pain in the ass to kill. I still remember one time where players could not kill a zombie for three rounds straight just because of that. <laughs> oh, dude, it can get brutal sometimes, especially when the damage dice are so low. What's the uh, undead feature where they die, but they come back after a minute? Flame skulls? They do that after an hour, though. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah. Our Grave Bear monster had a spe unique ability that, that was like that. That's what I was thinking. Because the players, okay. once they fight it, will probably take a short rest and just pop up as yeah. soon as they can take their, 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 um, let their guard down. Um, we're going to give it Drain Strength, or Strength Drain, which means when it does damage on a hit, it lowers their actual Strength Stab, which if it gets to zero means they're dead. Which is brutal. And we're going to give it a legendary action. Now, this one's really fun. Forced Obedience. The target um, basically must make a wisdom saving throw or spend its turn kneeling before Zod. I mean, before the Shadowborn. What do you guys think? Very interesting. How could you see you guys getting use out of this? So, uh, I want to give you my opinion. Is but that, I is hear that for uh, every character? Has to make that save? A target. Just one. Just one. Singular. Not plural. I do like the idea of it being closer to, like, Frightful Presence, though, where everybody that sees it has to make the save. Because that, I could, I could see that, that being... That can be brutal, though, if it's anything more than just running away. I can see that being used, like, harshly against the party. Like, watching someone as tough as the paladin or the fighter, the, the someone who is following that god, and he... This creature looks at them and they bow to him. They're like, "Oh, th he must know who this is." So let's put our arms on for a moment. Interesting. That could be one way that plays out. That would be that'd be hilarious if the player took it that direction, or they kneel and just boot to the head. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't head. give them control over it as a legendary <laughs> action. It's just something that they can do right. uh, every round at the end of somebody's turn. So boot to the head. You missed. <laughs> well, I gotta go. <laughs> well, the thing that I really like about it is the fact that it does have a mount. Um, that makes it incredibly fast, and it can move uh, and, and keep its distance. Yeah. Um, and I like the idea of it running by and just, like, ethereal scraping past the characters and trying to drain their soul one, at a, one slice at a time. Or this thing stalking the players while they're on an adventure. But keeps its distance until they forget about it, and they until just until they don't, and they just <laughs> <laughs> and they just occasionally see in the distance the shadowy figure on this distorted uh, flaming mount. 
which I, they're translucent. But instead of it being like bright and gold and like a paladin wood, it's dark and necrotic, right? Anyway, <sighs> okay. Did you say? Uh, what were, did you say it had vulner? Vul- did you say that it had, it had vulnerabilities? Yeah, radiant, radiant, and sunlight, and sunlight. And sunlight. What if there was like two or three of these guys, and your druid was using a uh, uh, daylight? Something like that, but it's a, but just using it to surround the players, mm-hmm. and that's their only way to stay safe because they're so strong, and they're relying on this druid's ability to keep doing those over and over and over again until they can figure out a plan. That sounds awesome. Druid falls unconscious. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> well, and that was part of the thing behind design behind it is that I wanted you want spells like uh, daylight and the light spell to be the potent tools of battle, right? Um, so smite is radiant, isn't it? Huh? Smite is radiant, isn't it? Technically, yes. Yes, but I don't actually think it. Yeah, it does, and it does. Does it say it does radiant damage or yes. weapon? Okay. Yes. It's a uh, sneak attack that does weapon damage. Ah, okay, okay. Um, anyways, that'll do it for our monster, the Shadowborn. If you like this sort of monster and you want to check out all the lore, the stat block, and the beautiful art, please consider becoming a patron to get access to that. Shadowborn. Uh, now, remember one time where I posted online, I can I can get a straight answer. Question: You, you know the uh, catch projectile ability a monk has? Yep. Does that take into account sneak attack damage? <laughs> I like that. It's a legit question.